us out today. Well, thanks for uh, having me here. This yeah. is an honor. I tell you what, so you are here through the festival offering people an opportunity to take a ride in your vintage biplane. Uh, yeah, this is a, it's a 1929 Travel Air 4000. Uh, this is Ace the biplane. Um, I named him Ace because of uh, a number of things, but um, yeah, it's there's less than 40 of these aircraft flying. Oh, wow. um, I can carry two passengers at a time, so you can go up and share the experience with each other. Um, I can take uh, children with their parents. I've taken uh, World War II vets. Oh, awesome. So it's, it's a great experience for everyone. And of course, I got to experience that today because we went ahead and I, and I put on the goggles and played the part and I got to get in and you took me and it was so smooth and I was saying I kind of felt like a dog in a car. I mean, I had my, my nose out both sides of the plane. The view was incredible. Well, that is the experience of riding an antique biplane. Um, I give you goggles, a hat. Uh, I want you to experience the ride, not just take the ride. So uh, I'm dressed up as a barnstormer from the 20s and 30s. If you ever watched the movie The Great Waldo Pepper? Yeah. Well, this is my job, so I want to be a professional about it. I want to look professional. So this is my opportunity to give you the experience of something that people don't get to see that that often. No, and so rare. And what I loved is that the, the way that you're flying, you can actually pick parts out that you recognize. It's like, oh, well, there's the Martha and there's the Barter, so you can see them from a different vantage point. Uh, yes, with great visibility, you see the mountains, uh, you can look down and see your home, uh, the lakes, the ponds, everything, the lush green trees around here. It's, it's a beautiful area. And just having the wind whip through your hair, what's left of it from that helmet, I mean, it, just that open air feeling is incredible. Well, when people take a ride, it's, it's either a bucket list item, yeah. um, anniversaries, birthdays, but it's really a romance of aviation. You're stepping back 80 years in, in the uh, aviation history, and you're actually experiencing something that people never got to experience. They've never even seen airplanes. So you're getting an opportunity to get in an aircraft that actually has a history of like a person. So uh, it's an honor to take people, uh, give them that experience so they can share it with others. Absolutely. And I have to ask you, is this something you grew up with? I mean, did you just have this love of planes? and? Oh, yeah. Um, I think every child grows up and says airplane, yeah. but I, I might have said it a few more times than once. <laughs> so uh, I started out with model airplanes, radio controlled airplanes when I was about seven, and uh, started flying the radio controlled part uh, when I was 10, 11 years old. And in high school, I started flying, and I've been flying professionally for about 19 years, and uh, decided to quit my job and become a, a full time barnstormer. And uh, here I am with an 80-some-year-old airplane, uh, giving opportunities and experiences to people that never will really get to, to experience it. And I bet when you get down and you land the plane and you see the look on their face when you're helping them out and they're just, you know, I mean, it's an incredible experience. Uh, yeah, it's, it is. I have uh, received a lot of uh, positive feedback. Yeah. Hugs and kisses. <laughs> uh, lots of selfies, lots yeah. of pictures. I like doing that. I, I yeah. do the no mom, you know, yeah. look mom, no hands look. <laughs> I'm pretty good at that. But, uh, you know, it's it's been a great experience uh, doing it full time this year. Uh, I've been given rides for many years, but uh, doing it uh, for a living and traveling around the air shows and festivals has really opened up a lot. Um, just one quick story. A guy gave me a jacket from Vietnam that he said he's never wore in 20 years. And uh, him and his sister rode with me, and he gave it to me the very next day. And uh, I tell you, it just, it's, it's amazing the experience that people take uh, in the aircraft. And, you know, it's, it's, it's an honor. So I bet you hear stories like that a lot. Oh, yeah. It's incredible. It's, uh, it's been great. Wow. So. Well, it is an awesome opportunity. I thank you, Dewey, for taking me up. I thank you, Ace, for an amazing ride. 
It's going to be a lot of fun. You ready to experience Abingdon? I am. All right. Well, you can take a ride. All you need to do is going to be here throughout the festival. Come on over here to the Virginia Highlands Airport, ride in Abingdon, and he will take you up on a journey you will not forget.